Solana has been absolutely ripping lately and smart money knows this and they've been pouring in. Institutions are trying to get their hands on as much as possible. That is, at least in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum. But retail has spoken and Solana is absolutely stealing the stage. So it's only a matter of time before the big boys, before institutions and smart money realize that that is where the attention is in the crypto market. And we know that money flows where your attention goes. So let's make the most of it before investors, smart money comes in, before the big institutional funds come in, and while we have it all to ourselves. So in this video, I'm gonna break down Solana's biggest milestones and achievements this week and show you why Solana season is here and here to stay. So without further ado, let us jump into it. I am finally back home, as you may have noticed. I'm a little tired, but I had to make this video for you. So let's get started, guys. Bitcoin is at 91,600 and some. When I was preparing for this video, it was at 92,000. And so we're, we're, this, is, this is minimal, guys. I, let's not get distracted by minimal price differences. Overall, we're still hanging on strong. We're still trending within this high, you know, 88, 89,000, 90, 91, 92,000 dollar range. And keep in mind that this is while we still have about two more weeks of price discovery for Bitcoin. So that's where we're at regarding Bitcoin's current price. And if we take a look at how markets closed on the first day of market open this week, yesterday, Monday, we'll see that we had heavy purchases, guys. We had 89 million from BlackRock, 60 million plus from Fidelity, all the way down to what looks like 54 million coming in from Grayscale. So very, very bullish. Next, if we take a look at what many would call supply shock, there's a theory right now in crypto, Kyle Chasse, my partner, actually talks about it quite a bit on how we very likely may be encountering a day where there simply is not enough Bitcoin. There are no more Bitcoin available for purchase. And we see the first signs of this in this chart that I'm showing you and in this tweet. It says last week's net ETF inflows were six times the new supply issuance of Bitcoin. If we assume that there are approximately 900 new Bitcoin created or mined every single day, that gives us a total of 6,300 Bitcoin created or mined every week. That means there were six times that amount, which is roughly about 37,800 Bitcoin. So we're already starting to see the beginning of Bitcoin basically running out. We know that every four years there's a halving. If you're new to crypto, you don't know this. If you've been here for, in crypto for some time, then this is not new news to you. But the fact that we're starting to see inflows be more than what is even available or created. And we know that many big whales are moving their Bitcoin off of exchanges. I've covered this in a few, I think like three videos ago or four videos ago on how it's becoming a real situation where there's, there's just not enough Bitcoin compared to how much is being bought. And then here we have it from Unusual Whales, Twitter account saying that iBit or BlackRock options will list as soon as tomorrow. This is huge. This is as of today. And this is according to Eric Balkunas. Um, who we know is a top analyst for Bloomberg. So this is ex like extremely exciting. This basically opens a whole new category, a whole new type of trading available regarding Bitcoin. So options for those of you who, who don't know, they're like insurance policies in the way that someone can put in a bet to buy, say Bitcoin, 
which is what's being proposed here at a certain price. You know, if Bitcoin rises above that or drops below their price, they're basically protected. They're not forced to sell or buy, but that's more or less what it is. So it brings in a whole new category of trading. This is literally huge. And with all the news that I'm bringing you, frankly, this is the tip of the iceberg. There's so, so much going on. So I'm going to share as much as possible with you. Next, we have Black Rocks. Larry Fink, their CEO, Larry Fink, um, consulted by Trump's team in hunt for their new Treasury Secretary. So we know that even though Trump has been officially voted in as the president, he hasn't actually become the president. He's not the president yet. The President Biden is still president. So the official inauguration of Donald Trump as president will be on January 20th. We're starting to see the signs of him fulfilling the promises really that he made us. Next, Trump is expected to discuss his appointments with Brian Armstrong. This is enormous, guys. Absolutely enormous. So, and this is according to the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg. And then this morning, <laughs> to just sort of summarize it all for you, we have MicroStrategy. So this was yesterday morning. Okay. So MicroStrategy buys another 51,780,000 Bitcoin for $4.6 billion. We have Mara announcing to buy 700 million to convert to acquire more Bitcoin. Similar Scientific raises 21 million at the moment and acquires 215 BTC. And then we have MetaPlanet issuing this amount in yen, I believe, um, 1.75 billion debt offering to buy more Bitcoin. So these are four new corporations that are basically entering the Bitcoin race. That's in combination with the 10. So think about it, how it's adding up every day. Okay, I can't bring you all of the news. <laughs> <laughs> like every single day because there's so much going on and it's happening every day like popcorn it's just like popping up right and left so this is huge so now we have all of these companies as well and then here you see now we even have michael saylor right it's from micro strategy is looking to raise <laughs> another 1.75 billion dollars to purchase more bitcoin so this this human being is as bullish as it comes it's like the most bullish person on Bitcoin. It's, it's incredible. It's a beautiful strategy he developed. Anyway, he's like a crypto evangelist, right? He's like Bitcoin evangelist to the world. That's what Michael Saylor is right now. Next, as some more bullish information for you of another huge whale, one of the most wealthy people on the planet that we know of, we have Jeff Bezos reportedly sold. Well, according to this chart, he sold $3.4 billion dollars of his Amazon shares. And there are rumors going around that he's gonna get, he's, he's getting ready to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that's why he did it. And that's pretty big. I mean, the number in itself is big, but we have to remember that this is his baby. He sold $3.4 billion worth of his baby. If you think of it that way, right? This was a company he created from scratch. I saw his documentary. He created it from, from scratch. He borrowed money from his parents, his stepdad to build Amazon. You know, it was a really, really painful journey for him. And as a founder as well, I was a founder of uh, Paid Network in the early days and Master Ventures. You know, I, I'm very careful when I sell my paid tokens. I've only sold a little bit when I've needed some liquidity, but I do it very carefully. So I can only imagine Jeff Bezos, who created this company from scratch, and it's worth so much to see him sell so much of his shares is tremendous. And it would only make sense, <laughs> you know, that he'd be considering to buy some, some Bitcoin. And there's reasons for us to believe he is going to be buying some, mainly because of what I'm sharing on the screen here. So this is from Mac account. And he says, I think this new, I think this news flew under the radar last week with the price action. If it's legit, Bezos is for sure buying some Bitcoin, which will probably lead to another billionaire's buying, right? Because it's all the billionaires know each other. All the rich people know each other, right? They're all friends and they dine together. And right now, if you look at this article right here, 
you zoom in on it, the very bottom, it says that Bezos girlfriend, right? Lauren Sanchez, Bezos and her have been recently engaged. And I guess they were celebrating in St. Bart's for her birthday. But if you read down here below, it says that people spied and they said they saw Lauren Sanchez, right? Bezos' fiance. They saw Bezos, Jeff Bezos. They saw a movie producer called Brian Glazer, media mogul David Geffen, AIC Honcho Barry Diller, and guess who? Michael Saylor. They were spotted all together, hanging out, beachside eatery, right? So what do you think they were talking about? So you just have to connect the dots. And then here, according to Cointelegraph, and this leads me into what I wanted to share with you today, is if you take a look, Solana is leading the way on inflows compared to all other blockchains, which is no shock. But if you notice, you know, and this has been the ongoing news, Solana has been leading the way. And as I said in my intro, institutional investors don't know this, right? Like we know this. And if you're new, then you don't know this, but now you know this. You know, we know what's popping. We know where the money's going. We're all kind of like deep in the trenches and following meme coins and all these things, right? But institutional investors are not. They're, they're only going off of what their portfolio managers are telling them. They're going off of the newsletters that they get. It's extremely important because this is our greatest opportunity to ride this wave on Solana until institutional investors get wind of it because you know, there has been talk in the last couple of months of there potentially being a Solana ETF. And once there's a Solana ETF, especially now that Trump's going to be president, chances are we are looking at a Solana ETF. Like, I'm just going to call it like very, very likely there has been talks of it. And once institutional investors can invest in Solana, it's like game over, right? They're going to just gobble up all the Solana in the same way that they've done and they're doing with Bitcoin. So right now we have the upper hand. And then here we can see that in the past three months, Solana is starting to cook on fundamentals, right? So kind of like the way you cook in your crock pot, if you're into cooking or if you're not, or if you make a sauce, right? You're cooking, you make a sauce. Like if you like cook it down until it becomes like a reduction, like a thick sauce, and it's like really nice and thick and solid. Well, Solana is so solid and has such a strong community and great marketing. We actually met the CMO a couple of months, a month ago now, was it? A month and a half ago in Singapore at the Network State event with Balaji. Brilliant, brilliant marketer. So they have like, they have such strong fundamentals that we're really starting to see it be reflected in their charts. And then here in a second, let me show you. It's not this one. It's in a few more tweets. I'm going to show you the projected price for Solana. But as of now, Solana now drives 45% of all on-chain DEX or decentralized exchanges volume across hundreds of blockchains. That's enormous. And we haven't even started the parabolic phase of this bull run. So it's coming and it's gonna be a giant tsunami wave when it does. This is what Solana's price, like we're at a $240, $241 Solana token. As you can see, it's been like sideways, sideways, and then up, and then a little bit of sideways up, a little bit of sideways up. But if we zoom in on the 24 hour chart, you'll see we're down in the red. There's been a recent correction, people just taking some profits as always, rolling it into their meme coins or taking some, some liquidity to have on the side so that when the parabolic phase comes, right, and every token's flying to the moon, they have some money to invest in the new hottest opportunity. A lot of this may actually be due to Rand Nooner's video. No hate, I'm just, I think it's almost a little funny and it shows you the power that influencers really have. That's why you wanna pay attention carefully to who you follow. But he was warning in his last video I saw, you know, saying, you know, advising that people take some profits so that they be ready to invest in upcoming investment opportunities. So who knows? I'm just saying it's coincidental. The point is Solana is on discount right now. It's on sale. So I'm bringing it to you. You're welcome. You can go buy some Solana. And if we pay attention to this chart presented by Miles, if we just... Pay attention to the pattern, okay? You don't have to follow Miles or even like him as a content creator. I think his content is great and I follow a lot of it and quite closely actually, and it's all data-driven. 
So I respect that. I think numbers are solid. He's saying here Solana's price action right now is following the exact same pattern that it did in 2021. So this would take it to a price of $780 per soul. If this is the case, we're looking at a pretty solid blue chip long-term investment. This is huge. There's so much volume on Solana. All the hottest memes are on Solana. It's fast. It's overtaken Ethereum um, on volume, on daily transactions. Like every time I check, it's overtaking it. So it is projected to do very, very well. And then here, once again, some more validation for you, but Solana becomes the most popular blockchain according to Solana Floor, capturing 38.8% of global crypto investor interest in 2024. So if you're looking at my screen, then you'll see what I mean. And you'll just see there's no comparison. There's like Solana at the top, like huge green line, and then everyone else just like competing like way below 50%. So it's leading the way, right? Like once again, if you've seen my past videos or if you haven't, I'd encourage you to go watch them because there is a strategy to like how you wanna approach the bull run. Normally, or like there's, there's like a graphic I would show you, but it's like of a barbell, like of a weight. And on one side of the barbell, you want to have all your blue chips, right? Like half of that in Bitcoin and then the other half into something like Solana or Ethereum, but Solana and Ethereum, okay? And then on the other side of the barbell, you wanna have your more risky plays. So like invest like money that you're willing to lose. You hope you don't lose. So it's they're calculated decisions. You're not just throwing your money, throwing something on the wall and hoping it sticks. You're following the right people. You're following me. You're following Kyle. You're following all the top thought leaders, not just influencers, although influencers can definitely pump tokens. But you want to also follow somebody that is paying attention closely to the fundamentals, right? So like Crypto Banter's team, Miles. Elio Trades, Ivan on Tech, um, myself, as I said, you know, so like, so on the other side of the barbell, as I was saying, you're going to invest if you have the money to potentially lose. That's the money you invest into higher risk plays like meme coins, right? So there is a strategy. And if you don't know or you want more details on what I'm explaining, then I'd encourage you to go watch yesterday's video and just like my last three videos because I break it down in each of these videos from a different angle. And I am going to be starting a course in a VIP group for a minimal price where you'll get my full attention. I'm bringing in a team and there will be just a really punchy, to the point, practical, crypto for newbies style course. That'll just break it down for you step by step. This is what you need to do to get into crypto. So let me know below if you're interested in this or if you know people that would be interested in this because it can definitely be very overwhelming to jump into crypto and you want to participate and you want to make money, but you don't know what you're doing and you have to risk manage. You have to have a strategy to that. So what I mentioned right now is just a little bit of it. That said... Um, all of the action, like I was saying, like all of the actions happening on Solana. So you don't want to miss out on Solana because Solana's were like, it's like the railways or the platform upon which all of the action is happening on. So if you invest in Solana as the foundation, you're pretty much like in a way reaping the benefit of everything that pumps and gets launched on this foundation, if that makes sense. And then just to emphasize where we're at right now, oh my God, we have 31.5 tokens launched per minute in the pump dot fund record. So this is enormous. And just to emphasize how much volume is really happening right now. And then this is by Murad. We know Murad sent tidal waves to the crypto space with his speech that he gave at Singapore um, Token 2049. And this is what he says, you know, he says holders with $1,000 are basically the benchmark. If a project, which he lists out on this chart that I've zoomed in on here for you, if people, right, or holders are holding at least $1,000 they are a useful metric or they are an indicator to determine conviction of a community member. 
of a meme coin community member. The bigger the number, the more motivated soldiers with skin in the game, comparing some of the popular memes. So that's what we see here, and in green, you can see how many of all these tokens listed in a row, how many of them have community members holding at least $1,000 worth of that token. And from top to bottom, we have Pepe as first, Whiff, Popcat, SPX6900, Mog, Go, Michi, Fog, Giga, Bitcoin, APU, Retardio. <laughs> Retardia was also at our party last weekend in Bangkok. This, like, last weekend. Lock-in, Sigma, SCF, USA, Harabe, Mini, Selfie, and SKBDI. So I'm only holding the top ones here. And this is it's really, like, reaffirming, actually, to see this chart. Because it tells me the tokens I'm holding. And this is what you should do, too. Look at this list. Pause the video. Take a screenshot of this chart because this is going to tell you the level of conviction and passionate community members that each of these meme coins have right because we know memes are not about the memes they're about the community members the memes is like the meme is like the flag everyone stands behind and laughs together with <laughs> is how i'm gonna put it and then here this is beautiful this sort of wraps up where we're at right now in the crypto space like a dream come true this is what he said this is by tim he says i am a down-to-earth guy but seriously all dreams of crypto people are coming true very very fast one we have a pro crypto president like <laughs> in our wildest dreams did we expect this right two we have a pro crypto administration three president our president wants to buy a crypto platform you know he's going to be uh launching his own what is it called like freedom something his own uh like crypto platform four our president to be elect is meeting with crypto ceos like that's insane like thank god thank god this day has arrived sailor michael sailor bitcoin evangelist to the world so sailor's going crazy <laughs> buying more bitcoin okay <laughs> he's like his own signal in the crypto space and then Wall Street keeps buying Bitcoin. Like when could we have ever imagined this happening? Like they were making fun of us forever. Magic internet money, right? And now they're buying this magic internet money. Number seven, countries will start buying. Countries have already been buying, right? We know Saudi's been buying. We know there's this mysterious 100 wallet that keeps buying in huge volumes. Many suspect is a country. Um, it's already been happening, right? So he says, there are no other words for it. I don't know what will happen, but some serious insanity might lie ahead when the entire system is no longer against crypto. Also, zero DAO BTC will hit parity with gold, right? Like equal out, will it hit like the same price as gold and maybe sooner than we expected. In short, we won. And this is simply amazing. It is simply amazing. And this is by Michael Saylor, as I was saying. If Bitcoin had not been invented, this would be a pretty downer podcast. I'm just telling you that, you know, you know, the world's got economic problems. The government's going to debase the currency, spend it on things you disagree with, and you're going to be poor. Right? And that's how it ends. But Satoshi is as profound as Prometheus. Satoshi, you know, Maxwell gave us electricity. <laughs> Newton gave us Newtonian physics. Einstein gave us relativity. Satoshi gave us money. money. Satoshi developed a protocol that combines uh, cryptography, uh, networking, with semiconductor technology, with mathematics, with uh, a bit of economics and some engineering, and managed to create um, something that's simultaneously a technology, a network, an asset, and an ideology. And it's this thing we call Bitcoin. It's the world's first engineered money and the first engineered monetary network. That was so beautiful. I hope you thought so too. These are very exciting times we're living through. As that last tweet I read, you know, we're seeing everything that the crypto community that we've been dreaming for coming true. And it's happening. And we have yet to see the way it happens when it all comes together at the same time. So our most exciting days are still ahead of us. 
and I cannot wait to live them with you. So I'm so happy you're here. Please stay tuned. I'm making these videos every single day for you, no matter what, rain or shine, traveling, just arrived from like a crazy flight. It's almost midnight here. I don't care. So anyway, I love you guys. Please go take a look at Solana. It's not financial advice, but if I were talking to my mom right now, um, I would I would have her buy some Solana. Appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.